like the thing with Iran is gigantic, right? Like, you know, top five things that are going on in the world. Julian Assange is one of the top things that's going on in the world, in the Western world specifically, right? Uh, the most important journalist ever in the world is being crucified. Okay, huge. Like, some people would consider that to be the number one story in the world right now. For me, I put in the same category as almost starting World War III by attacking Iran, right? Which Iran is under attack, but it's going to be a long played out thing. What they're going to choose to do, the Western powers, is they're going to try to do the same thing with Iran as they have done with Venezuela and as they did with Iraq, right? If you remember after the first Gulf War, Iraq was under severe sanctions for eight years basically right so eight years eight to ten years right and those sanctions <laughs> were on a level where they couldn't even bring in lead for pencils right so basically they softened up Iraq to a level where they could invade militarily with force and take over the country because it was so it had crumbled to a level which was just pale pale uh reflection of his former self right so they softened it up for that long the dibs thank you very much for the donation uh i'm surprised it doesn't pop up in the chat but it popped up on the screen good thing i was looking at it so apologies if i haven't caught any subs or donations and stuff like this appreciate them very much but they're trying they're going to try to do exactly to iran what they did to iraq right and then hopefully at some point take over right i don't think they're going to invade but they're going to try to install their own puppet governments western governments it's not going to work anybody that knows anything about that region knows it's not going to work but these neoconservative warmonger psychopaths are going to do their best to get it to that level right they already lost iraq like it's just insane right so two of the top stories in the world are julian assange and iran world war three seems to have started a while ago i consider it to be the cold war uh to be the cold world war three uh saucy i tend to agree with you i think we're in world war three right now right iran has a very well-educated population very well-educated Iranians are some of the greatest diplomats in the world okay like you can't even compare it right so Julian Assange Iran two of the most important things going on in the world what's going on in South America you can't even separate it now between Venezuela Bolivia Colombia Brazil Chile and Ecuador and Argentina Uruguay Paraguay you can't even separate it anymore right we just have to say South America and Central America so what's going on in Latin America number three huge 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 what's going on with the uh, with China and the trade deals and the allegiances alliances that they're making with the rest of the world huge 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 number four right uh, Africa is a shit show and it will continue to be a shit show thanks to foreign influence right we were, i wrote an article about this in 2013 or so i said the future of africa looks bleak and i explained why in those four-part article that i wrote right and during that time i've mentioned this so number five would be africa and should i get you the link to africa here's the link to africa i've linked it up before but here africa the future i'll give you this link as well 